Welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate disease prediction from symptoms using machine learning. Disease prediction from symptoms involves use of machine learning and deep learning techniques to identify and compare medical cases based on clinical features and such as a, a symptoms, diagnosis, test result and treatment outcomes. This approach helps healthcare professionals to find a similar cases aiding in diagnosis, treatment recommendations and uh, patient management. Now we will understand how disease prediction from symptoms works. The first step of disease prediction from symptoms starts with the uh, data collections. In this case, we need to collect the data from different sources like uh, lab reports where we will get a uh, structured data and uh, clinical notes where we will get uh, unstructured data. Once we get the data, next we need to perform the data processing. That is, we need to clean the data because it is textual data. It may contain a grammatical mistake, stop words and encode the data in such a way that the machine can read it. Next, we need to extract the features uh, from the given textual data. Once we extract the features, the next step is to identify the similarity between the different patients data with the help of cosine similarities, Euclidean distance or a more advanced technique like a neural embedding uh, to measure the case similarities. Next, we need to train the machine learning model using bidirectional LSTM. Finally, we need to evaluate the trained model with the help of different performance matrices like uh, precision, recall, F1, F1 score and so on. Once we satisfied with the training model, we need to deploy the model with the help of Flask app in healthcare application. You can follow this link to download the complete source code, uh, data set, report, PPT and uh, Flask app. I will place this link in the description below. Once we download the project, uh, you will get the following contexts. The first one is documents. In this document folder, we will get complete uh, PowerPoint, the report in a PDF and a world file. The content of the reports are uh, like a introduction, literature survey, research gaps of uh, existing methods, proposed methodology, objectives, system designs and uh, implementation, timeline for execution of project, outcomes, uh, result and discussions and finally conclusion. And the next folder that is a research paper. It contains a list of the research papers where the researchers have worked on this topic. The Flask app is implemented in an app that Python file and the required supporting files are placed in the templates. The next one is a decision prediction model dot h5 uh, is a pre-trained model. I have already trained the model uh, here and it is saved in the particular file. If you want to use the trained model, you can use it. Uh, otherwise, if you want to train your own model, you can use uh, decision prediction model dot ipython uh, notebook. Here we have complete source code. We need to open this particular file and uh, then we, uh, we need to train the model. Once we train the model, the trained model will be saved in a current working directory. Once you open a disease prediction model dot uh, ipython notebook, you will get the complete source code. First, we need to uh, import the required libraries. That is what I have done here. Uh, next, I have created an uh, attention layer where we will give more importance to the features uh, which are important for uh, disease classification. Uh, next, uh, we need to read the data set. The data set is present in uh, symptoms to disease.csv. Uh, this data set contains two things. One is the label and uh, another one is the text. Uh, now we need to do pre-processing because the data contains the multiple class labels for our different diseases. Uh, we need to perform the label encoder that is done with the help of this particular line. Uh, once uh, this is done, the cleaner data is stored in the variable x and uh, the label encoded class labels are stored in the variable y. The next step is to divide the data into two parts uh, that is a uh, training and a uh, testing that is done with the help of a train test split. Once it is done, we need to use a LSTM a model to train the model that is done with the help of uh, following statements. Uh, next, we need to compile the model. 
Next, we need to fit the model on the training and uh, validation data. The trained model will be saved with the file name disease underscore production underscore model dot h5 uh, that will be saved into current working directory. Next, we can test the model by giving some uh, symptoms uh, like uh, we can ask uh, user to enter the symptoms. Once the user has entered the symptoms, we will give that symptom as an uh, input to the trained model. The model will predict the disease here. To train the model, we have used uh, following data set. It contains the labels and the associated symptom. The label is nothing but the disease name. Here we have considered multiple number of diseases like uh, thyroid, chicken pox, uh, diabetes, dengue, jaundice, uh, normal fever, normal cold like uh, stomach infection, skin infection, pimple issues and so on. On totally there are uh, 1261 symptoms for different diseases were considered for training the model. Now we will discuss how we can install the necessary softwares and libraries uh, to run the uh, project. First we need to install Anaconda Python package and uh, TensorFlow 2.10. To understand how to install a uh, Python Anaconda package as well as a TensorFlow you can follow uh, this video. Uh, where you will get to know how to install uh, these two softwares. If TensorFlow is not running properly in your machine, you can uh, downgrade the NumPy version to 1.26.4 using the below command. Once you have installed the Anaconda Python package and uh, TensorFlow uh, 2.10, next we need to open the Anaconda prompt. Uh, in the search bar, we need to type the Anaconda prompt. Uh, then you will get an anaconda powershell prompt or anaconda prompt uh, then we need to open it once you open it the anaconda prompt will be opened in user working directory next uh, we need to shift the current working directory to the project folder i have saved my project in d drive so first i will shift to d drive with the help of this command uh, once you shift to this d drive my project is present in d drive with this folder name uh, so, I will copy this and then I will paste it here uh, that is a uh, cd space uh, the path of the project folder. Once you press the enter button uh, then we will get this one. Uh, this will be the current working directory from now on. Next we need to enable the virtual environment uh, which is created at the time of installing the tensorflow using the following command. Here TF is a virtual environment uh, which is created uh, while installing the TensorFlow. Uh, next we need to run the following command that is pip install uh, minus r requirements.txt so that we will be able to install the remaining required libraries. Once we follow these 5 steps we have done with the installation. Next we need to do is we can follow the steps to train and uh, run the project after in installing the requirements. If you want to train the model, we need to open the Anaconda prompt as you shown in the previous slides. Next, we need to shift to the current project folder and then we need to activate the virtual environment with the help of uh, this command. Uh, next, we need to open the Jupyter notebook uh, with the help of uh, this command. Once the Jupyter notebook is opened, uh, we need to open the disease prediction underscore model dot uh, ipython notebook and uh, we need to run all the cells. Uh, once we run all the cells, uh, the training is completed. Once we install the required libraries and uh, train the model, uh, you can follow these uh, steps to run the Flask app. So if you want to run the Flask app, first we need to open the Anaconda prompt. And then we need to uh, shift the project folder with the help of a change directory command. Next, we need to activate the virtual environment uh, that is TF, which is created at the time of installing the TensorFlow. And then uh, we need to run the following command uh, that is python app.python. Uh, once you execute the, this command, you will be able to execute the Flask app. The Flask app looks like this. Here we have displayed the project title uh, there is a text area uh, where we can enter the symptoms and uh, once you click the predict disease button uh, it will predict the disease and then uh, it will display the uh, confidence of that prediction so let us assume that i added some symptoms here 
once i click on this predict disease button it will display the disease line and the confidence of this prediction is 89.07 percentage similarly i will add a one more symptoms and then i will click this uh, predict disease button uh, it will predict the disease uh, like a uh, chicken pox with a confidence 99.66 percentage so this is how the disease prediction from symptoms using machine learning works to download the project you can follow the link given in the description below if you have any questions uh, you can put those questions in the comment box below if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching